Hey guys, we are here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania on Baltimore Street. And we're standing in front of the Inn at Cemetery Hill. The reason it's called that, because Cemetery Hill is right over there. We'll show you that here in a second. We're gonna stay here for two nights. We paid $280 for a Sunday and Monday. That's on booking.com in April. That includes tax. There are 51 non-smoking rooms here. So we'll take you around and show you everything this place has to offer. And you can decide if you're in Gettysburg, if this looks like a place that you want to stay at. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock, Let's and, roll. rock and roll. East Cemetery Hill. If you want to explore that from the hotel, you don't have very far to walk. Gettysburg National Cemetery. Because the hotel is just right down there. If you're in Gettysburg when the National Park does their tours, you definitely want to take a tour of this with a tour guide. Very interesting. Let's begin our tour from the Baltimore Street entrance. Let's head down this way. Very windy today. This area is where you can stay and they have pet friendly rooms and non pet friendly rooms. A pet is $25 for one or $30 for two or three. There are three buildings here. I'll show you all three of them. There is where you check into. The rooms are all non-smoking, so they have a few areas to smoke at. This is one of them. And it's like a pretty nice place to eat at. No trespassing. Hotel guest only, no ghost tours. your parking lot there's plenty of parking before we go inside let me show you this other building they have up through here this is a long stay area you can't book this online you have to call the hotel directly and talk to them about it so it's extended stay I don't think you can stay here for one night these are more like efficiency apartments looks like there's Maybe four of them in here. Now there used to be stores back through here. It was called the old Gettysburg Village. Now it's, it's like apartments. They used to have a lot of nice shops back there. I bought a couple garden flags in a few of those shops. Now we're gonna head in and see the lobby where you check in at. This hotel is also handicap accessible. The Baltimore Street building, which is your main entrance, also has an elevator. It's only two stories tall. Okay, let's head inside. these steps in the morning they will have a complimentary breakfast up there if you can't take the stairs they have an elevator to get to the breakfast drinks and snacks vending machines take the elevator down to the lower level what is this that is an old payphone luggage racks let's go over here and see what they have fill a water bottle up this is available 24 hours. Coffee, hot beverages, and gourmet. And they have a microwave and an area to get some brochures, tells you what all there is to do. And there's a lot to do in this area because Knobles isn't that far. You have the Amish country close. There's nobody in here right now. Let's just go up and see where the breakfast will be served at. There's an ice machine. Orange juice. Oh, cute little area up here. A few tables. We'll come in, show it to you in the morning. And they have a few high chairs if you would need one. Didn't even see those over there.
I like the paintings going around. Adds to the feel of this hotel. Yep, there's your high chairs. There's a picture of the Cash Town Inn. If you take the elevator from downstairs to the second floor, this is where you will come out at, right in front of the staircase. No pets are allowed in the Continental Breakfast Area unless they're service dogs. Almost forgot to talk about that. Service dogs stay here for free. Let's head back down. While we're in here, let's go down and see the drinks and snacks. Ice machine. There's your snack machine. 75 cents. Dollar fifty for the bottle tea. And they have a washer and dryer, but at the present time it is out of service. The lower rooms are down through here. Out of the office, now we're gonna show you our room in the other building. It's around back and more of the parking. Back side of the main building. Some balconies up there to sit outside. Now this building that we're staying in, looks like it has two sides. Let's go over here and look. Looks like it has four rooms more parking over here. I don't think that you can have pets and stay in this building. More parking out here. Some more rooms on this side. Facing Baltimore Street. We're gonna show another entrance. So some of this in is located on Steinware. This is our favorite place to stay when we come to Gettysburg, is this area. Oh, here's another designated smoking area. Also, if you're coming in on Steinware Avenue, you can come in up through here and park. Here's where we are staying, in the front on Steinware Avenue. We are in room 106. This is where you want to be, 108, 106, 104, or 102. You can sit out here and people watch all night. And you're close to all the restaurants. Well, you're close to all the restaurants no matter what. But this is the place to be to so show you how to get in. First time you come into these rooms, you have to come through this door. No smoking, no pets allowed. Downstairs is the ice machine. There's no vending machine down there, it's just ice. On this side are those rooms I showed you a few minutes ago when we were out back. Smells clean. Let's go over it. If you're caught smoking in your room, a $300 charge will be added to your bill. We're gonna start off right here in this corner. Very bright lights. The mirror and your ice bucket. The bathroom's bright also. I like those lights above the mirror, especially when you put your makeup on in the morning. Decent sized mirror. They have a hair dryer. Some hand towels. Heat lamp. One sink, do not have a double sink, but that's okay. 
liquid soap, lotion. Extra towels. Now, while I'm thinking about it, they don't come in this hotel and clean every day unless you request it. I like the walk-in shower. It's pretty nice. Yep, I like walk-in showers. Shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel, in case you forget yours. It's a decent sized bathroom. It is, big enough. And they have a fan in here. Let's see if it works. It does. Reason I checked that, I fit in several anymore that do not have fans. Okay, one more. one more look at the shower. It's clean. It is clean. Let's head out. Here's a nook. We've already used a little spot of that. We still have to get our suitcase. Safe, some hangers. Two double beds. No carpet. Mm -hmm. We like that. Love that. Just makes it feel cleaner. The sheets are white. Check them out. I don't see any stains or anything. The bed's soft. So we'll see how we sleep. Heat and air conditioning is controlled on the wall. It's a pretty big size refrigerator, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's cold. You may wonder why we always tell if the refrigerator is cold or not. We stayed in a pretty nice hotel in Memphis a few years ago and the refrigerator did not work. In fact, it was leaking when we got in the room. It so was. We always check that now. And it was about 100 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. Smaller TV, I think it's probably 32 inch, big enough for us because we're never in the room. Microwave. Some drawers to store your items in. Few scratches inside here, but nothing major. You're going to have that in an older hotel. But it is clean. A desk to look at all your brochures and figure out what you're going to do here while you're in Gettysburg. Coffee machine, ironing board and iron. It's your air conditioning and heater. Control it on the wall again. No USBs, but you can plug something in. Phone, alarm clock, that's about it. The main thing for us is what's out this door. One more look at the room. Thing about this room is location. You're paying for the location, it is close to everything, and it's clean. Now let's step outside. You guys saw this when we walked by, but here's our view. Bobby, we need to bring something back and eat right here. This would be a good place mm -hmm. for a food review. Maybe some ice cream. Yeah, well, ice cream too. Mr. G's. Yep, one of our favorite places right down the street. It's nice to see the sun out. We've had rain where we live the last two weeks every day. Yeah, beautiful weather here. I think it's here. sunny today back home now that we're gone. I know, but it's been windy up here. Again, there's your location. You have to share this spot with your neighbors, but I don't know if we have any. There you go, guys. The Inn at Cemetery Hill. I think I told you guys wrong. There are six rooms in the front. Four on the bottom, two up top. Now, if you don't lock the deadbolt, you can come in using your room key I'm out here on the Steinware entrance. Up these steps, I think, are the other two rooms. There is no elevator in this building. Here are the rooms upstairs. I guess there's two more rooms than I thought. They just don't have a balcony on them. Because we saw those down here that you can go out on. But the other ones, you cannot. Let's see what they have for breakfast. Some oatmeal, some fresh coffee. Looks like they're making eggs in that. Bread, a waffle machine, maple syrup, 
scrambled eggs, potatoes, and ham. Some cereal and fruit, some hard boiled eggs, cheese, yogurt, and it's probably milk, what I'm guessing. An apple and orange juice. They must also have omelets that you put in the microwave here on some days because there's the directions how to cook it. Let's show you what we're close to if you come out on the Baltimore Street exit. The Hoof, Fin, and Fowl restaurant. Getty's Gear Shop. Cigars and coffee. Ghostly images of Gettysburg, one of our favorite stops in town. This is the original National Homestead or Orphanage. One of the most haunted buildings in Gettysburg. Directly across the street is the new Gettysburg Tour Center where you catch the double-decker buses, get tickets for ghost events, and they have drinks in there and souvenirs. Free parking. Just can't park down on that far end because that's for the hotel. That's something that's pretty nice here in Gettysburg. Have some free parking. Downtown, you have to pay for it. Also, if you walk straight down through here, you'll be downtown in about 10 minutes. So if you want to save a little bit of money, park up here and then walk to the Lincoln Square. We just enjoy walking. We always stay up in this area and we always walk down to the Lincoln Square. We do not drive. I'll show you what else is down here. 1863 Hotel, one of our favorite places to stay. Right beside it, the famous Jenny Wade House. That is a must see when you're in Gettysburg. Has the actual bullet hole that came through the front door inside it. We've done a few of the ghost tours at Jenny Wade's. After that, we'd like to come to Rita's, get some frozen custard. And Italian ice. And they have more things. On down through there, we have the Farnsworth House and Mr. G's. So you are close to everything. Because we just came out from right there. Now let's go show the other street. Steinware Avenue. Now we are at the Steinware entrance for Rourke's family eateries and spirits I love sitting out here on this deck it gets a little hot there in the summertime it does and on this side several places to eat all the ghost tour locations where you'll get your ghost tours Hunt's Cafe Battlefield Fries is right up here one of the top places to eat in town we always enjoy it the Dobbin House on down through there, Gettysburg Eddie's, the Heritage Center, Friendly's, KFC, and the battlefield where Pickett's Charge took place. And so, right here's where we are staying. Yeah, so this just shows you, you're in walking distance to everything. We just left the inn at Cemetery Hill here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. What did you think about your stay? Our main reason for staying here was the location. You're close to the restaurants and shops, the bus tours. That way you don't have to worry about parking. Especially in the summertime, this area can get busy. Our room was very clean. I thought the bed was comfortable. I did sleep well. The shower had good water pressure and it was hot. The towels were a good quality. Mm -hmm. You had the outside table with the chairs. I enjoyed sitting outside. So I would definitely stay here again. Now, for anybody that's never been to Gettysburg, you might be in for a shock when you see the hotel prices. In the summertime, they can be very high, especially on the weekends. Try to come on a weekday if you can. I also enjoyed our stay here. I like sitting out and watching everybody walk by. We just walked across the street to get stuff to eat. Bobby touched on just going behind you to get the bus tours. You have the Jenny Wade House, and you're only about a 10-minute walk from town. So location is the main reason to stay at this, and it's clean. And so, five minutes from the battlefield, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, the battlefield's well, right behind us, not even five <laughs> minutes. They have a small continental breakfast with ham, waffles, and eggs. They were making fresh eggs up there. The room was clean. Uh, there wasn't a lot of people here on this day, so we can't really vouch for how noisy or anything it is. 
but it's just another location here in Gettysburg that you guys can look at and decide if this place is for you. Now there's no pool or no exercise room in this location. But when you walk the battlefield, that's plenty of exercise or walking downtown. It is. It's all the exercise you guys need. I will post some prices at the end of this video that I took off of a third party app. I think that's probably the way if you're going to come here, look at them because they always seem a little cheaper than the hotels themselves. And even the price that you will see on that site at the end, sometimes when you click on that, it's even cheaper. But if you've never been to Gettysburg, guys, we suggest you come. There's a lot of things to do here. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J and B, B have left the, the building. building. I wonder where would be a good place to eat tonight. Let's just ask this lady sitting up here taking in the sun. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Can you tell me where there's a good place to eat here in Gettysburg? There's several great places to eat in Gettysburg, but I'm not sure I would go up to the Dobbin House. Looks like they're pretty packed tonight. I noticed that. Looks like a tour bus just rolled in. You want some good fries though, directly across the street, in case you haven't eaten there before. Or you can go to O'Rourke's. Or O'Rourke's. All right, thanks, see you later.